segment here for winners and whiners trying to make you a better better. And I have been on a nice baseball run. You can get my primary picks. I will be featured probably going into this weekend. I have to take a few days off, going to the beach with my family. So the premium picks might be a little bit light this week. But in the meantime, let's talk some NFL over under numbers. And I'm going to focus on the Lions this video. I love the Lions. I love their coach. I love their culture. I love their defense. I love everything about this team, and even their quarterback. And their number is six at 10 and a half. And I took a look at their season, and here's what I've got. Uh, they open with the Rams. Now, I love the Rams. Everybody's underestimating the Rams again. I know Aaron Donald is gone, and he was a – historically dominant player, but they got two of the best receivers in the NFL. They've got a quarterback that can sling it. They have a good offensive line. The defense, yes, Aaron Donald is gone, but the defense is solid. Man, I, I just, they're going to be a tough out. And so I would say that the Lions are going to early win this game over the Rams because it's a home over in Detroit, so I'm going to give them the win there. Then they get the Buccaneers in town. Uh, I think last year was a fluke, honestly. I don't think the Buccaneers are that good. Uh, they've got two great receivers. Quarterback there, Baker Mayfield, up, down, sideways. I, you know, I, I don't really trust him. And how good is that defense going to be it's eh, meh i mean they've been great but can they continue that performance getting older yeah i just i like the lions better they're younger and i like them at home here they're at the cardinals they're pathetic they get a win and then um they get the seahawks now here's a weird stat for you the seahawks are nine and ten in their last 10 games and they have won the last six against the Detroit Lions. It's a pretty crazy statistic to me. Now, I'd have to look back how many seasons that goes over because, of course, the Lions were terrible for a long time. There was a number of years when the Seahawks were very good, not too far away in the distant past. But uh, I, I'm going to say that the Lions get the win here at home with the Seahawks. Then they're at the Cowboys. Okay. Tough game at Jerry World. But you know what? I don't trust, I don't trust the Cowboys. I just don't. Ezekiel uh, Elliott is back at running back. What is he? He's 105 in running back years. No, uh, I think the Lions are too good. Then they're at the Vikings. The Vikings will either be playing Sam Darnold or a rookie J.J. McCarthy at quarterback. No, that's a win for the Lions. Then they're at the Titans. Do you know something interesting here? The Lions have never beaten the Titans since the name change to the Tennessee Titans. They've never beaten them. Uh, I, that struck me as kind of crazy, but this everything changes. Here's where the Lions get the win. Then they get Sunday night football at the Packers. That's eh, too much. They're going to get a loss there. I, I really hate betting against Green Bay and Lambeau in prime time. Uh, then they're at the Texans, and I'm going to give them a loss there. So they actually you know, drop two games back to back, but then the winning picks up again. They get the Jaguars, win. Colts win, Bears win, Packers at Lions win, Bills. I, I'm worried about the Bills. I, I mm, boy, uh, that's going to be tough for. And you're asking a lot for Josh Allen to hold that together. And so you get a win with the Lions there, and then they're at the Bears. They get a win there, uh, and then they're at the 49ers. I'm going to hang a loss on them there, although that game could go either way. And then they get a win at the Vikings with JJ McCarthy. Um, at quarterback for the Vikings. Interestingly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games to start the season where I have them winning all of them are in the dome. They're either in a dome stadium on the road or they're at Detroit. I actually have Detroit ready for this 14 and three on the season. But you know what? Let's say I'm wrong about a couple of games. That's 12 and three. Let's say I'm wrong about three games. That's 11 and three. Their number is 10 and a half. 
I, I love the Lions over here. Uh, a barring injury, I, I, I don't understand why this number is so low. Loud Esmond for winners and winners, trying to make you a better better.